Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer question today uh, about upgrading. He's got an older camera, in this case a Canon 60D, and he's looking at whether it's even necessary to upgrade. And, you know, a lot of times in this day and age, everybody wants the latest and greatest. But I think this is good that he's taking a look and, and thinking, you know, do I need to? So the question is, the question comes from Brandon CG. That's his YouTube username. He says, I still have a 60D that I bought four years ago. It's still a good camera. Still not a 70D or an 80D. So no autofocus video nor quick video recording mode from photo mode. Is it even worth the upgrade if the video and photo quality is pretty much the same. So interesting question, uh, Brandon, and thank you. And what I wanna do here is I wanna point out the main differences of the 60D versus, for instance, the 80D, or even the M50, because I think that would be an option if you were upgrading today. So with the 60D, we had an 18 megapixel APS-C sensor. We've got an ISO of 100 to 6400, expandable, to 12,800, and we've got 5.3 frames per second. We do have 1080, although if memory serves, that was a 30p 1080. And um, if we move to the 80D, there's at least seven points or seven features that are upgraded on an 80D. You're gonna get a 24 megapixel sensor, so a higher res, better performing sensor, which is, is significant. We've got dual pixel AF, and that's huge, especially for video. So that right there, for a lot of people, would be a reason to upgrade if you're doing video. The touch screen is, uh, or, or, or I should say the LCD, the screen is now a touch screen and a very, very good touch screen. So we've got a fully articulated touch screen. We did have the articulated screen on the 60D, just not a touch screen. Then we've got 60p 1080 on the 80D. So, you know, advantage there on the 1080. We've got seven frames per second versus the 5.3 on the 60. We've got a more enhanced, better performing 7,560 pixel RGB, RGB plus IR metering sensor in there. We've also got Wi-Fi and NFC. And uh, if memory serves, we didn't have that on the 60D. So that's seven points of why the 80D would be a good upgrade. To me, the biggest of those are the improved sensor with the higher resolution, the dual pixel AF, and the touch screen. The rest of them are kind of minor to me. Those um, three points are quite significant in my opinion, and those would be reasons that, those alone would probably sway me to upgrade. But for me, I would actually go to a Canon M50. The M50 gets the same 24 megapixel boost in the sensors. In other words, you're getting the same boost that you would with an ADD, six more megapixels and a better performing sensor. You're still, you're also getting dual pixel AF and in fact, a more advanced, um, farther along version of it, a newer version of dual pixel AF. You've got a Digic 8 processor. You've got a 2.36 million dot OLED EVF. You've got the beautiful very angle touchscreen LCD, similar to the ADD. You got 7.4 frames per second. So you've got a very fast, but also 10 frames per second in AFS mode. So even faster. We got 4K, which you don't get in the ADD. And, you know, a lot has been said about the limitations of the 4K, but it, you can't get around the fact that you still have 4K available in the M50 and no other APS-C Canon at the moment has that. You've got a very capable 1080 60p. You got Wi-Fi and NFC with Bluetooth. So you basically got um, eight or nine advantages with the M50 over the 60D. So looking at whether or not you should upgrade, both of these cameras have significant upgrades, but it's fairly obvious that the M50 has a lot more, um, especially if you shoot video, uh, than the ADD offers because it's got the 4K. I mean, that's huge. It's the first APS-C Canon to offer that. Both have significant advantages, but if you're not really into video, then perhaps the 60D is still um, pertinent and all you need if you're mostly into photos. If you're into video, then I would suggest that the more advanced video 
and the dual pixel layout and the touchscreen, even in the 80D is a significant upgrade, upgrade and reason to upgrade. And I probably would if it was me. But if you're into video, then I would step all the way to the M50 because I like the smaller, lighter. Where is the M50? I just love this little guy. Um, the smaller, lighter body, the um, 4K. It's just, it's a great little camera. And really for the price point, you might even be able to get it cheaper than an 80D right now. Um, and I think at the moment, it's probably the best option in the Canon APS-C lineup for anybody out there, especially in your situation who's looking to upgrade from, say, a 60D. So I guess what you have to decide, are these points of an advantage to you? If you're mostly in a photography, maybe they're not. If you do a fair bit of video, then I think an upgrade to an 80D or what I would do is go to the M50 would be called for and would justify the money spent, and I think you would, you would appreciate that. Let's throw it back to our viewers, though. Uh, what do you guys think? He's got a 60D. Would you go to the 80D? Would you go, like I said, to the M50 because of the advanced video abilities and the smaller, lighter body and whatnot? It just looks cool, too, with the mirrorless. Um, what would you do? Does he, does he need to upgrade? And is it contingent on whether or not he shoots video? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys would do. Let's help him out. Um, always great to hear from you guys. Sometimes you point out things that I've missed. Sometimes you have other insights that I overlooked. Let me know in the comments below. Always good for our viewers to get a lot of feedback when they're considering a purchase like this. Thanks for your question and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artofimage.com.